of its fall activities this weekend. Our Leah Bowling was there today to find out more and experience some of these activities herself. Fall is just around the corner, which means cooler temperatures, beautiful colors, and maybe even a corn maze. Let's see if I can get out of this one. Y'all have fun. Thank you. There are so many fun fall activities at Flat Top Mountain Farm, like hay rides. You go on the hay ride. It's a scenic hay ride. It's like no weather. It takes you through horse pastures. It's just kind of this movie moment of horses running, and um, it's, it's really pretty beautiful around sunflower fields all the way out to the big corn maze shaped like the state of Tennessee. And then it'll bring you up back up to the barn. Uh, the barn is filled with all kinds of locally made items. This is all included in your $12 ticket, but there are a few extra activities too. Pony rides will be here um, and then carriage rides on Saturday. Uh, you can shop for pumpkins and then before everybody leaves, uh, they get a pumpkin. And of course, there's that iconic fall pumpkin patch. We see people all the time setting their kids in the pumpkins and uh, getting those, those cute pictures. Flat Top Mountain Farm focuses on creating an authentic farm experience for their guests. Everybody in your family from, you know, zero to 99 can, can enjoy the fall um, activities out here. So we're excited to see the people that have been here in the past and also um, the new people in the area to come out. We hope to see a lot of new people too. And what could be better than this view? When the colors are popping and it's the cool mountain air, it's just, it's a pretty amazing experience to be out here with your family doing uh, the pumpkin patch and walking through the corn maze and doing the hay ride, it's just kind of, um, it's, it's a really great fall family experience. And as for the corn maze... It's just fun trying to figure out how to get out of the maze. It may be easier said than done. Oh, well, all right. Uh, I guess I'll try again next weekend. <laughs> in reporting in Saudi Daisy, I'm Leah Bowling, Local 3 News.